How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and today we are here in Austin, Texas at TRE, the running event, and we are looking at some of the hottest and biggest shoes heading into the new year. A lot of big names here at TRE. We're going to talk to them and see what they think is going to be the best shoe of 2022. All right, first on up, we are here with the man, the myth, the legend, Kafuzi. You might be one of the hottest guys in the running shoe game right now. We're looking into 2022. What's going to be your top pick heading into the new year? Right now, from what I've seen on the show floor, I'm most excited about the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. They've wildly changed that shoe, and I hope it's going to be for the better. I've loved the Endorphin Pro version 1 and 2, but I just couldn't take it the marathon distance. I'm hoping with the changes to the upper and to the midsole that it's going to be that shoe that I can use to take it the full marathon distance. All right, we are here with Jameson Michael in his hometown of Austin, Texas. Yes, this is where I live, this is where I'm from, this is where I do all my elite jogging. And I know what you're gonna ask me, Connor, you're gonna say, what's the best brand, best shoe of 22 going into the new year? Okay, we all know what that is, Asics. Best shoe, Nova Blast 3. You know why? Because one or two were fired and three would not let us down, Connor. Any more questions? I didn't think so. Who's next? Next on up, we got Hella. He's been running across the country. One of the few people who's ran more miles than me this year. Hella, what is going to be the shoe you're looking forward to most moving into 2022? Uh, I'm looking forward to putting some, some miles on the new Hoka uh, track shoes. It's called the Cielo uh, MD. It's a really fast shoe. It's carbon plates underneath it. I got to test it out yesterday on the track, and it's one of those shoes that makes you feel like you're probably faster than you are at that time, which is a really good thing because now it gives you a little more confidence that you can kind of push a little forward. And I'm excited to be more on the track next year and kind of get the speed back because the Transcontinental, it was a lot of miles, but now we want to get the fast switch going and get after it on the track. All right, next on up, we are here with Drew from the Wear Tester team. Now, Drew, you're probably one of the few people who have tested as many shoes as me. Now moving into 2022, what's going to be the shoe you are most looking forward to? So what I'm most looking forward to is the Brooks Glycerin 20 because it is taking the Aurora BL, which was one of my favorite shoes last year, and the regular Glycerin, which is always one of my favorite shoes. They're putting them together. It's a crazy cushioned package. It's gonna be a little bit different for people that are lovers of the Glycerin, but I really think it's gonna be a big upgrade, and so I'm really excited to get it on feet and running it. Next on up, we got Carlos from Road Running Review. I think, unofficially, the number one running shoe review site in all of Europe. Carlos, what's going to be the shoe you are looking forward to most heading into 2022? Hard decision, Connor. We saw a lot of shoes here in the trade show, but I'm going to pick the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Elite V3. That's a huge change from the, for the brand. I think the new carbon fiber plate is going to be explosive for long distance running. Always Fuel Cell on the midsole. I think what is probably one of the best compounds for running faster. And Connor, this is my top pick from this show. All right, next on up, we got a new face. We got Matt. Now, Matt, we've been talking with influencers all week, but I want to hear from someone here at Running Warehouse. Give me your first thoughts on the top shoe heading into 2022. So, Connor, we've seen a ton of really cool stuff this week, but one thing that I am super excited for next year is New Balance's Super Comp Pacer. This shoe is going to be light. It's going to be nimble. It's basically like a new gen 1400. It's got the foam, it's got the plate, it's got everything you need to move faster in workouts, move faster in race day. It's gonna be innovative and I'm super excited for it. So there you have it. We talked with the influencers, got their thoughts, and now we wait to see if the shoes can live up to the hype. If you're looking to get any of these shoes on your own feet, they'll be launching throughout 2022. You can find more information and stay tuned on all the latest launch dates by following us at runningwarehouse.com.